What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're using a Conkledor team for ranked regulation G. Now, when it comes to Conkledor, this Pokemon is actually really powerful. It's a great physical attacker, and at the same time, it's a great Pokemon in Trick Room. Now, this Conkledor over here is super slow. So, if we're going up against Ursaluna or Ice Rider Calyx Trick Room teams, this Pokemon will actually outspeed him in a Trick Room. So, it should be a lot of fun. But on top of that, if you guys watch any of my recent videos, I have been having terrible RNG, especially with Chrysophyte's Blades from Groudon. So this team actually helps us out because Sableye has gravity, we can pop gravity, and then at that point, our blades will never miss. So we can have 100% accuracy Chrysophyte's Blades. Should be a fun one. But let's talk about Conkador a little bit. It's got Iron Fist and the Black Belt, making punch moves do a bit more damage. On top of that, it's got the Fighting Terror type with Drain Punch, Mach Punch for first turn priority, Knock Off, and then one of the best support moves for Regulation G, Wide Guard. Should be able to use this Pokemon a good bit and showcase it to its fullest potential. Now Groudon is going to be our restricted Pokemon. Throughout Clear Amulet, Precipice Blades, Heat Crash, Bulk Up, and Protect. I really do like having Bulk Up on this Pokemon. Considering if you're going up against physical attackers, you can boost your defense and attack at the same time and really help this Pokemon thrive out. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature Sableye for support, Raging Bolt for big time special attacking, and then even more special attackers with Choice Scarf Chiyu and Focus Sash Fluttermane. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Conkledor team. First match coming at you guys, and I think the last time I used Conkledor was back in the Sword and Shield days. To be honest, this Pokemon was phenomenal in the early formats of Sword and Shield, so I do like this Pokemon, and I'm actually super excited to be using it. But we're going up against a Shadow Rider Calyx team here in match number one, alongside with Umbreon, Tornadus, Sandy Shocks, Chiyu, and Wellspring Ogre. Now, how should we play this one? They have, or I should say, their only way of weather control would be from Tornadus if they do have Rain Dance. I mean, I could maybe just go Sableye here. Go gravity turn one and start throwing Precipice Blades. That's not a bad call for us. That's not too shabby. I mean, Shadow Rider Calyx is looking rather scary. I could just go into Chiyu, which is a solid option for us. Just because of Choice Scarf allowing us to outspeed. Um, I do like Chiyu here. And probably Fluttermane. Or Chiyu Raging Bolt. I mean, two great options here. Um, do I want to go into Chiyu Raging Bolt or Chiyu Fluttermane? I mean, Fluttermane is good because of the Focus Ash. Focus Ash could definitely come in clutch. So honestly, I might just want to go into that. Yeah, I'm going to go Chiyu Fluttermane here. We're going to go Groudon, and we're going to bring Conkador in the back end. I like having Conkador here. It's going to be super effective onto the Chiyu. It has knockoff for the Calyrex. I could just do big time damage all around. So we are going to go Conkador here, bring him in late game. I could decide to pop Trick Room if I think they're going to go Tailwind turn one as well. That could be good for us. That could be good for us. So if they want to go Tailwind with Tornadus, we can just pop Trick Room right away with uh, Fluttermane and have that Focus Ash to kind of keep us safe. So let's just see who they want to lead here. Let's just see, because she was a great option up against uh, Calyx. It really is. It's, it's just a great option. But they're going to end up going Chiyu on their own, alongside with Sandy Shock. So this isn't too bad for us. I mean, speed's fine for us. We have a great speed option. Uh, I can Heat Wave alongside with Dazzle Gleam here. It should be fine. I could Terra Dazzle Gleam. This thing does have booster energy. So he's going to activate speed, correct? Speed is going to get height. So my Chiyu should still outspeed it. I should just be able to drop a pretty large size Heat Wave here, right? Or I could go into a Snarl if I want to. I don't want to Terrasalize. I think we just go into a Heat Wave here. And then just Terra Gleam. I am scared of potentially Chiyu just being Choice Scarf. Their Chiyu. My Chiyu is Choice Scarf. Their Chiyu could be Choice Scarf as well. But I'm just going to hit this Terra button. I'm just going to look to get off some big time damage. Especially with Daz and Gleam. And just, just look to pick up some KOs early on here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what you do it. In the back end, you probably have Calyrex, and you probably have Tornadus. I think it would be both of them would be your best options. Earth Power is going to fly here, and you're outspeeding me. Wow, and I'm soaking that. That's actually awesome. That's actually amazing that I'm soaking that. Because I'm able to do that, and I'm able to Dazzle Gleam and probably pick up a double KO here, right? This double KO in? It does not. It picks up one KO. Okay. So we'll take a nice little trade here. One KO for another KO. Are you going for Heat Wave here? Snarl, Dark Pulse? You're going to go for a Heat Wave. So Heat Wave's landing all day. You do some nice damage. My Chiyu, or not my Chiyu, my Fluttermane is the fastest on the field. Oh. Unless you decide to go for a, what's it called? Unless you decide to go for a, uh, into, uh, Tornadus. 
and just tailwind. But from here, I just think going into Conqueror was a simple play for us. I could have set the sun and just go from there. But they're going to throw out Calyrex, and I could just mock punch this thing. Let's be honest here. I can just mock punch it. I can just mock punch it. And I'm really hoping that we can survive and just pop a trick room. <clears throat> so I'm going to go mock punch here. I could actually wide guard first. No, we're going to have to mock punch. I'm going to mock punch and protect first. Yeah, no, no, I got a plan. I got a plan. We're going to mock punch protect. <clears throat> and then we're going to wide guard and try to pop trick room. That's my play. That is my play all day. <clears throat> all day. So we'll see a terror pop out here from Calyrex. He's going to go into straight fairy. That's fine. That is fine by me. If I had to guess, you're going for Astro Barrage. I doubt you're going for Expanded Force. I doubt you're going for Expanded Force just into my Conqueror slot. You have to be going for Astro Barrage looking for the KOs. So Protect comes out from Chiyu. Man, that kind of throws off my whole system I wanted to do. It really does. I mean, Wyguard's still going to be good. Wyguard's still going to be good. You're going for Astro Barrage? You're going to go for Drain and Kiss here. Which I block. It's beautiful. That's beautiful. So I have to get off Trick Room. I'm still going to go for Wide Guard here. If you're going for Drain and Kiss, that is looking scary. Do I still go for Trick Room? I think I go Wide Guard Trick Room here. They might switch. Yep, there's a swap onto you. And hopefully you switch into Astro Barrage. That'd be massive. That would be massive if you switch to Astro Barrage. Give me a favor. You don't even have Tornadus. I thought you would have Tornadus. We end up popping Wide Guard. Show me Astro Barrage flying here. Or just go after my Conqueror. And no way. They canceled a match after they see Y guard. This was definitely Astro Barrage, right? Yep. Come on, man. We were going to win that one. Well, that's why they canceled the match. Once they seen Y guard, they canceled the match and turn off their console. That's crazy. We just set up for perfection there. And they don't even let us finish the match. Look at that. We Y guard to Astro Barrage, made a big time read, popped the trick room. We would have thrived out from there. What a way to start off match number one with a little rage quit from our opponent. But we're going up against an origin form Garatina team here in match number two. We'd love to use Conquador a little bit more, but who should we lead here? Because something that stands out to me is no weather control. So Groudon could honestly just fly through here alongside with maybe like Chiyu or even Fluttermane. I feel like they both really thrive out here. But Pokemon that they could potentially lead could be Incineroar. I mean, Fake Out could do me dirty. So, I mean, I do like having this Fluttermane out here. Tinglu could also be a lead, but I mean, at that point... We should be fine. So we're going to go Groudon. We're going to go Fluttermane. We're also going to bring Raging Bolt because Raging Bolt is just such a solid Pokemon, especially with that Assault Vest. And yeah, I like having first turn priority. I like having first turn priority. Plus, again, they have no weather control. So having a Pokemon that really thrives out in the sun is going to be really good for us with that Protosynthesis boost. But I wonder who they're going to lead. Incineroar seems like a great lead. Obviously, always good. Ting Lu could be a solid lead here as well. But I mean, if they lead Ting Lu, chances are they will go into a Poison Terror type. Which isn't bad for us because then we could just Precipice Blades on one side. That's yeah, a gleam on the other side. Could be nice. Let's see. Yep, there's Ting Lu. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So this is going to be a simple Precipice Blades and Dazzling Gleam kind of kind of play here, right? Pretty simple for us. Because the only Terror type really Ting Lu rocks is going to be Poison. I mean, we can cover both angles with Fairy and Ground Moves here. Awesome. Dope. The one thing I am kind of annoyed at is Precipice Blades as recently has been missing for me at all times. Do I Terrasalize here? No, we're not going to Terrasalize. But yeah, Precipice Blades has been awful for me. So hopefully RNG can kind of pick up today and, you know, land some shots because we need them. We need them. He's going to end up Y Garden. Oh, no. Y Garden against my Dazzling Gleam and my Precipice Blades. That's a big time turn. My guard always sneaks up on me, man. Just kind of like how it snuck up on our last opponent. My guard comes through here and blocks both my moves. That's a big time turn for him. And what are you going for? Ruination, potentially? No way you got Fisher, right? We're not going old school with Fisher, huh? I'm going to go EQ. Okay, I can deal with an EQ. I can deal with an EQ. How much damage is EQ really doing? Here? Okay, that's a bit... That's a that's 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 a nice chunk of damage. Um, I'm going to start bulking up. Give me no reason not to just bulk up, and I'll go for a Moon Blast here. I could pop Trick Room, but they really thrive out with Trick Room. I'll just go for a Moon Blast here. He's going to go for another Wide Guard. That's fine. We're going for a Moon Blast and a bulk up, so we'll get a defensive boost and an attack boost, which is great news for us. Moon Blast flies. That's some solid damage. We get a special attack drop. Doesn't really matter. This thing's physical. And we're going to bulk up here, which is gorgeous. 
Nice little defense plus attack boost. And you're probably going for another EQ, correct? Yep, another EQ flies. Alright, so Groudon should stay above half HP, should stay in the green. Fluttermane is going to die. No big deal, we'll lose Fluttermane. Now from here, we could go for Blades if we want to, but I'm not going to go for Blades. I might just try out size. I think going into, like, you could be nice. Eh, I think we just go into Conqueror here. I think we just go right into Conqueror. Right into Conqueror. I could go for another bulk up if I want to. I could just start throwing Heat Crashes around. I mean, that has everything to do with weight. I mean, we're going to Heat Crash, honestly, him. And let's just go for a nice big time Drain Punch. So let's get back some HP, look to deal some damage with Conqueror. The Conqueror's on the field here. Hmm. He's going to end up withdrawing you. That's not bad. I mean, probably go into, uh, what's it called? Did they have Flutter me? No, they guaranteed me. That's who it was. The Ghost type. And Heat Crash going to roll over onto you, which is solid. So half damage onto you, which is good news. And he's going to go for an Infestation. He's infesting me. I do have Knock Off, which is good. But, I mean, you can't Knock Off that thing. So. Drain Punch not going to do anything. And now I'm infested. <laughs> that noise is so annoying, dude. I can't stand it. Do I go for Blades here? We're going to go for Blades here. Plus one. Plus one and probably just go for knockoff here. He probably goes for another infestation onto me. We're going to go for Blades here. I don't think he goes for the Y guard. I don't, I don't think he chooses to go for Y guard. Because obviously I could just go for Heat Crash looking for the KO, but I'm going to double down to his Garatina slot here. So I still have Raging Bolt. Great little Pokemon. I might want to swap my Groudon just to reset Sun soon if it doesn't die this turn. We'll see. We'll see, but that was a great swap for him going into the Conqueror, or not the Conqueror, going into the Garatina to dodge the Conqueror shot. But he ends up withdrawing Arachnid. Could be pretty good for us. You're going back into Ting Lu. Could be the Pokemon, or now you're going to go into Incineroar. So he's going to intimidate me. Not bad. If I can land his Blades. If I can land his Blades. Blades, please. Please. Thank you. Cool. I totally forgot Garatina had Levitate, but we get rid of Incineroar, so that's a solid turn for us. That's solid turn for us. We end up doing that. He goes for a Shadow Force, which is actually looking terrifying. <laughs> and Knockoff is going to get dodged. All right, so I kind of want to swap both Pokemon. I kind of want to swap both, but we're going to take some Infestation damage here. Infestation. I kind of want to swap both Pokemon. But I can't swap both. I can only swap one right now. They're going to go back into Ting Lu. Ting Lu could go for Ruinations. Their own special attack. Infestation. Oh, Infestation's gone. Okay, that's cool. That pretty much forces me just to swap Conqueror here. Do I really want to reset the sun? Let me see your summary. Is it just speed? No, it's going to be a special attack boost, which is massive. I'm going to swap Groudon right here. I might as well drain punch. I mean, I get we are minus one, but still being super effective here is nice. Could see a Terra pop out here, but we'll swap Grout on here. Because again, Sun ends next turn. I really want Sun for the rest of the match. That special attack boost on the Rage Bolt is just huge. So I think that's a fine turn for us. <clears throat> All right. So out comes Terra. That is going to be Ping Lu. Smart Terra. Going to go into Poison. We have Blades to deal with. I get we're plus one on defense, plus one on attack, but I just like this. He's going to go into actually fairy. Fairy pretty solid here. Fairy is pretty good. Now, you going for EQ. EQ could be scary. It could be, because Shadow Force is going to fly into this slot. Yeah, EQ could do me dirty, especially next to Levitate. Yeah. Oh, man. Any guys soaking? I think Rage Bolt should soak. Yeah, Rage Bolt does soak. Okay. All right. So, we're bringing back out the sun. We're bringing back out the sun. And we kind of just sacrifice our Conqueror. Do we have a shot? I wonder if we're faster than any of these guys. I don't think we are. That's my real That's my real issue. Is I don't think we're faster than any of these guys. Or I don't think we're faster than the uh, Garatina. I know we're faster than Ting Lu. But honestly, our opponent just played this one really well here. Hmm. Definitely want to drink a meteor slot. I do have Terra-type. Do we want to use Terra? 
What's your terror type, Razor Bolt? Probably Electric, right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help us out much. But yeah, we definitely want to go Draco Meteor there. I mean, I guess we go for Blades. I guess we go for Blades here. Draco Meteor does outspeed, which is massive. This will dump on you. EQ, EQ is going to take us both out. Actually, Groudon might be able to survive. Groudon can survive. Oh, man, we have a shot. Blade's going to fire. I'm probably missing, right? I land it. Give me a crit. We don't get a crit, but still the damage great. EQ's going to fly Groudon. I need you soaking. I don't think you can, though. You do soak. Hold up. Now, it's just Araquanid and Ting Lu. And I think if I land a Blades, we win this game. I think if we land a Blades, we win this game. But you could go for a Y guard. And I'm gonna read that you're going for a Y guard, right? And then heat crash and try to go from there. I mean, this goes off of weight, so honestly, Terrestrializing could give it a nice little boost. I am still gonna go for heat crash. I'm gonna read that you're going for a Y guard here. I'm gonna read that you're going for a Y guard. I think that's in my best interest. Because Blades would have won us a game if we double landed Blades. But we know you have Y guard now. So I'm gonna read you going for a Y guard here. Fingers crossed. If not, we might just lose this game. Let's see. Y guard, show me Y guard. No Y guard. Oh no. Can we soak up a liquidation in the sun? It all comes down to this. It all comes down to if I can soak up the shot. It all comes down to this. Unless you go for like infestation, which honestly might be a better plan than protect. What you got going for? You're gonna go for liquidation. Can we soak this in the sun? We don't. 39 HP. Not enough. Not enough. To bring us a win in match number two, but a solid second match here. We should have just went for Blades, but they were playing mind games with the Wide Guard. Moving on to our final match, and let's be honest, Wide Guard has been clutch in both battles. Honestly, Wide Guard just plays mind games with me like it did at the end there. I thought they were going to pop it, and they ended up not popping Wide Guard and winning the game. But we're going up against another Wide Guard user with My Shao and Shadow Rider Calyrex. On top of that, they got Urshfu, Clefairy, Tornadus, and Rollaboom. So their only way of weather control is going to be Tornadus if they do have Rain Dance on it, which they most likely do. But I think a solid lead for us could just be Chiyu Fluttermane. Right? I mean, they could have fake out users. They have two fake out users, so they could lead them both. So I like having both of these guys. I mean, I can always Terrasse slash Chi with the Ghost. That could be good news for us. I can always pop Trick Room because I'm going to bring Conquador in the back end. And last but not least, Groudon is an absolute must to bring. So I like this here. I think that's definitely in our best interest. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So I'm cool with this. So Chi, you can come out here. I can throw Snarls around if they throw special attackers. I can go Heat Wave if they're not going to change weather. And then for Fluttermane, I can either Trick Room or just keep attacking, right? All right, I like it. I'm cool with it. I'm all down with it. So we'll see who they want to lead here. I would think it'd be Tornadus, right? It's going to be Tornadus Calyrex. So, I mean, Trick Room. We could go Trick Room Snarl. We could go Trick Room Snarl. Which honestly wouldn't be all that bad. I think Trick Room Snarl is our play. Because I think you, I think we read him and you go for a Tailwind here. So I'm going to Snarl. I'm going to go Trick Room. Show me a Tailwind. Show me a Tailwind. Show me a Tailwind. This is going to be a Terra from the, uh, what is that Pokemon? Calyrex, right? Yep, going to go in the Fairy, correct? Yep, and show me Tailwind. We need Tailwind here. Because we have Focus Ash, which is gorgeous for us. Training Kiss could pop out here on the Chiyu. You're going to go for a Rain Dance instead. Okay, I mean, I don't mind Trick Room here, though. Snarl is still going to be able to attack first. And that's a nice little special attack drop there. And you're going to go for Nasty Plot. Alright, so nice plot flies here. He's only plus one now. Trick Room is out and about. We have Trick Room here. Um, I swap maybe into Conquador. I mean, if you're going to go into anything, it would probably be Dream Kiss. We could change up weather. I mean, the weather change wouldn't really help us too much. Could keep my Chiyu for Choice Scarf later. Um... I would love to go into Conqueror, but the problem is, like, Draining Kiss. Big time problem. They don't know we have Focus Ash, though. Definitely want to attack with my Fluttermane, but I don't really know what I want to do with you. Probably just stick with that, right? Do I Terra? Yeah, I don't want to change up weather. I really don't want to change up weather. Because right now my Fluttermane is slower than the Calyrex, so I want to keep it that way, right? Because Calyrex is the biggest threat. By far. By far the biggest threat. 
by four. And if I had to guess, you're probably going drain and kiss into that slot, right? Into the Chiyu slot. There's a bleeping storm. Slow down my Chiyu. Slow down my Chiyu. Do me a favor. Slow down my Chiyu. No, you don't. Do not slow it. Every time we need the slow down, it just doesn't work. The Dazzling Gleam's doing some nice damage all around. Astrobot's gonna fly here. I mean, both Pokemon... Do they soak? No, of course not. Not very effective, and it's just... Danny, get a crit, too. Oh, lovely. Just what I want. Just what I wanted. Crits. Awesome. So he was plus one. I'll give it to him, but still. Come on. Critical hit on my Chiyu. Was it my Chiyu? It was on one of them. Either way, I feel like one of them should have survived there, which I really need it. So Grimnade's gonna boost him up here. Um, they're just gonna pop a Rain Dance. We already know that. We already know they're popping a Rain Dance. And from here... I think I have to land Blades into, into Calyrex, right? Yeah, I have to land Blades into Calyrex. So he's gonna pop a Rain Dance. We know that's happening. We have to land Blades here into Calyrex. That's the only way... That's the only way we win this game. I mean, I could go for a wide guard and play it safe, but I'm gonna I'm gonna rely on my blades to actually land and knock off the Tornadoes here. Alex is just gonna protect. That's fine. Just gonna wait for bulk up, man. Bulk up could have been a great play for us. So there's the rain dance. He's gonna take weather control for the rest of the match. I mean, really, the only move that really helps us out with weather control is going to be heat crash. I mean, Groudon doesn't really like fully need weather, unlike other Pokemon. So. Still good for them to take it. So we get rid of their Tornadus. Blades is going to get blocked. We have a few turns left in Trick Room, which is helpful for us. Um, I like Conkledor here. I do have Wire Guard if I need to use it, but right now I feel as I don't need to use it. I really don't. We're going to go into Clefairy. I mean, all we need is Blades to land. That's all we need is Blades to just land in the Calyrex slot. If Blades lands in the Calyrex slot, we're sitting in a really good position because I can just knock off this Evo Light and then take out Clefairy later in the match. You have after you. Should have went for wide guard. Groudon, can you soak? Can any of you guys soak? After you, really. It's gonna be rough. No, we just don't soak. Team plus two. This thing's nasty. Come on, man. That was actually looking good. I just didn't realize after you was uh was gonna pop out there. Kinda hurts. We got one and two for today's video. Not too bad. Looking back on that third and final match, we probably should have just played it safe and drop a wide guard, but I got ahead of myself. I figured after you wasn't an option i didn't even think about that and i figured we could just go into precise blades land it into the caloric slot take that out and at the same time knock off that clefairy's evo light which would have been massive because then at that point no evo light on clefairy we could take it out whenever because his defense is going to be super low and then we could just have pretty much a 2v1 situation on the final pokemon but hey we got one and two for today's video made one opponent rage quit and the second and third and final battle we're actually really close all around I love Conqueror, didn't really get to use it as much as I wanted to, but I still feel like we got to showcase it really well, and then Groudon and the rest of the gang always thriving out. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.